What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. What's up guys, Sal here. So we're only 10 days away from the unpacked event where Samsung will officially introduce the Galaxy S10 devices to the world. Samsung will give freebies to those who pre-order their flagships. It's been happening for years now. And if you were wondering what freebies you'll get this time, wonder no more. Thanks to the source code of Samsung's official Russian Galaxy S10 page, we now know that Samsung will offer free Galaxy Buds with the Galaxy S10 pre-orders in Russia. I'm positive the United States will get the same Galaxy Buds as well. These are expected to cost $200 if you want to buy them separately, and Samsung will launch these new Buds alongside the Galaxy S10. So these Galaxy Buds will translate to a pretty good discount if you opt to pre-order the Galaxy S10. By the way, you need to keep in mind that not every country will get the same pre-order gifts. Some countries don't even get anything. So if you don't live in Russia or even America, then you might have to wait a little longer to find out what exactly you're getting. Anyway, the pre-orders will start on the launch date itself, which is February 20th and will go up until March 7th. March 8th is the official release date. Alright, so we have an official render of the Galaxy S10e and as you can see, it's also available in a yellow color. The first impression, the color looks horrible on this device. But to be fair, it's looking bad because of this render. I had the same thought when I first saw the iPhone XR in yellow. It looked horrible in renders, but when I watched the unboxing videos of it, it didn't look bad at all. Personally, I'm not buying a yellow phone. I don't want my phone to look like a taxi. But I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who like yellow. And for those, don't form an opinion just looking at these renders. The phone will surely look good in real life. So we have a report that shows phones which emit the most radiations when held to the ear while calling and Xiaomi and OnePlus devices top the chart. So if you have these phones, it's a good idea to not talk for long hours on call or just use headphones while you're doing it. Also don't keep your phone near your head while you're sleeping. By the way, these radiations aren't that bad for you, you'll surely not feel the damage in the short run but in the long run, you might. So precaution is better than cure. By the way, Samsung's devices are the least radiation emitting devices out there. If you compare the score of Xiaomi's Mi A1 and Galaxy Note 8, you can see that there's a pretty significant difference. I'm sure these will not affect the sales of these companies, but the pursuit of a safer lifestyle can surely have a huge role to play in the future. Of course, that being said, consider subscribing for all the latest coverage on the Galaxy S10. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.